Hey guys! Okay, so this month for our picture and recipe, I wanted to do something that's become very popular for me in the hopes that it becomes very popular for you all as well. And that is uh, my room and linen spray. This is different than um, just your typical body spray in that this recipe is mostly water. Uh, when we make a body spray, I use rubbing alcohol um, for the majority of it along with water, but the alcohol allows the scent to stick to your skin for a long period of time. I'll do that as a recipe as well here later, um, but for the moment, I wanted to do uh, the room and linen spray. And um, a lot of people question, why do you use poly 80 versus poly 20? Now for the room sprays, um, you use poly 20, mainly because um, you know oil and water does not mix. So you need an emulsifier that will bind your fragrance or essential oil with the water used. Now, um, where it is mostly water, and uh, just a little bit of fragrance, that is when you lean towards using your polysorbate 20. Um, now, when you need poly 80 is when you have more oils that need to be emulsified. That is when your poly 80 comes into effect. Um, so, I just wanted to clarify that, um, like with the the body spray, I use polysorbate 80 because we have a high amount of high amount of rubbing alcohol, and um, so we use the alcohol we use the polysorbate 80 in that um, instance when you uh, make the body spray versus using just poly 20 uh, for a room and linen spray. Uh, we do have all these products available at Be Scented to purchase. Very simple. This recipe, I'll have all the information in the write-up uh, of the video. Uh, we have 92% water. You want to use distilled water, or if you have a really good well at your house, there's no reason why you can't use that water. Um, but if you don't, if you have like city water or you know water that you know you wouldn't want to drink, then um, you would want to use distilled water. You want to use your polysorbate 20, your fragrance or essential oil, and then your preservative. So we have 92% water, we have 2% poly 20, 5% uh, fragrance, and just 1% per preservative. You can use a preservative of your choice. I personally like Germal Plus because it is a broad spectrum, uh, yes, broad spectrum preservative. So I'm going to make the recipe for five. Um, I will do the breakdown for you guys to make one bottle, five bottles, or ten bottles. Um, that way uh, it'll be easier um, for you. Uh, I use these little mini whisks when I'm making and I have my KD8000 scale here. So for the water, I, I kind of like got everything ready for myself to make it a little bit easy. I need 18.4 ounces of water. So we're going to measure that out. Almost. We're at 17 ounces. I'm slowing down. 18.4 on the nose. Alright. Now, if you do not feel comfortable pouring your next ingredient into your water, you can do them all separately and then, you know, put them in at the end. If you're afraid you may go over, uh, etc. Be sure to have clean hands or make sure you're wearing gloves. Um, I've sanitized my workstation. I've sanitized all of my little um, pitchers with 91% rubbing alcohol the same way I sterilize everything um, when I'm making. Now, poly 20, we are going to use uh, 0.4. Now, I'm going to go kind of slow because it's thick. A little bit more. If you go over just a hair, that's okay. 
It's not gonna hurt anything on the poly 20 if you go over just a little bit. Now the preservative, you can do a half a percent. Um, this is a very strong preservative, but when I did the recipe, I just did it at one. And then your fragrance. So for five bottles, I need one ounce. Uh, the Austin has requested monkey farts. So, and Noah requested peach. And then I'm gonna do cucumber melon. Perfect. And I did drip a little bit. That's what I have these paper towels for. Now, as you can see, let me bring this up to you guys. You can see, before I mix, you see how the oil is just kind of sitting on, the fragrance is sitting on top. It's not mixing. And that is where the polysorbate 20 is sunk to the bottom. And when we start stirring, it will all combine together. I know that you probably have seen before, um, Bath and Body Works used to do it, that they had um, body sprays that were not emulsified. The oil would sit on top and you would have to shake it uh, before you used it. Um, that's perfectly fine as well. I just find having this emulsified is what I want. Now, I use these four ounce aluminum bottles. This recipe is for five four ounce bottles. Uh, we carry these at Bee Scented with the little black sprayer top. Now, I have had questions before. I'm gonna turn this off and scoot it to the side. People have emailed us and they were like, oh, it doesn't fit. Like, I put it in there, it's too big. All you gotta do is uh, get you some scissors. And this is how I measure it. I put the lid here as where I'm screwing it down and kind of judge how much I need to cut off. So I need to cut off about an inch. And I cut it on an angle. Not sure if you guys can see that. And so yeah, that's all I do. And that gets these ready. I'm not gonna video doing all of these, um, the scents that I'm making. Uh, but that's what I'm making today. You can weigh these all if you want and put exactly four ounces in each container. I also have people say that um, their fragrance is milky or the, the solution is milky. That is normal sometimes. Um, some fragrances do not turn clear. That's why I like these aluminum bottles because it doesn't show if it's milky or not. There we go, four. You just want a container that you can easily pour from. If you are flim um, butterfingers and have issues, you can always use a funnel. Or kids really like these for uh, to spray on their pillows at night. Uh, you could definitely market it as um, like Monsters Be Gone or you know something like that for little kids. Uh, we have ne I've never had any staining, but be sure to test it. Right there's four ounces, and as you see. I have a smidgen left, so I'm just gonna, this one's gonna have, it's four, it's 4.1. So, there you go. Now, we're gonna put our lids on. You don't wanna cut too much off, you wanna make sure that when you put your lids on that the this reaches all the way to the bottom.
and then you can put whatever labels you want on there and that is how I make my room and linen sprays I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm not sure what we're coming up with next month for you guys but uh, thank you all for being here and I will catch you later